Good morning, I'm Melissa Bell. I live at 6382 Beaver River Road. Um, before I start my own speech, um, I've become quite close with the Salos and the Melissa's um, through the last year and a half. And uh, I, on a first-hand account, watched the lack of transparency um, and the difficulty that they went through trying to find the truth, um, trying to be heard, um, and the lack of, I would almost say, respect that they received um, trying to figure out their brothers uh, and son, the, the loss of their family. Um, it was it was very, very hard to watch that firsthand. Um, moving on, as I'm always here to talk about the conditional use permit that was granted at 6464 Premier Lake Road that needs to be made null and void and shall be made null and void in accordance with Ordinance 62. Some of you might consider me to be naive or stubborn, but I still have faith in our God, the Constitution, and our government. I still believe that those elected to office can do the right thing, even when it's not easy or popular. So I'm just persistent. I've been extremely disappointed to watch St. Louis County continue to turn its back to the facts being presented to them ignoring citizens who grievance the government for errors in law that have occurred. I ask you to do what's right, not the status quo. Don't be afraid to change the precedent, especially when the current precedent is unlawful. Please serve our county proudly. Investigate the permit that was given at 6464 Friedenberg Lake Road and the conditions at the McKeever pit the lake had owns, specifically on reclamation and setback. Uh, I gave you a map last week or last week time we spoke and uh, it was kind of joked about the planning commission because it doesn't have the proper measurements. Well, give me the proper measurements then. Uh, I, I can't go on the property and get the measurements myself, but the county can. But the county refuses and instead takes the word of the owner to say it's all good. That is not acceptable. Um, even at the planning commission, uh, one of the planning commission members asked, so have have they asked for an inspection? And the response by the county was, uh, we're not really sure, there's been a lot of requests. I'm not sure how I can not be heard, and this McKeever Pitt name has not been heard by everyone in St. Louis County. Um, but I feel that was very, very misleading. So then the planning commission just said, well, you do have a remedy, you just need to ask them. <coughs> wow, I'm not sure how I haven't asked you guys enough, or asked the planning commission enough, or the land use department enough for the remedy. Um, but we were told, just, just go ask, your, you, you'll get your remedy if you just ask. Please advise me, what is the remedy? Because I'm sure not, I, I don't know what it is anymore. Um, my Board of Adjustment Appeal is on this issue is May 18th in Virginia. I would really appreciate you guys coming as citizens just to hear, um, just to hear it, just to be there. Um, and also, uh, Janet and Oli weren't able to be here this, uh, today, um, but uh, on Easter, they were at Eagle's Nest having dinner. And uh, Todd Kineski from Lincoln Trucking uh, came over and whispered to Janet, uh, now, went to speak to Oli, just to Janet, and told her to stop speaking about this. Um, some wonder why we're such a small group of you know, six or whatever. There's a reason why we're a small group. There's intimidation going on. Janet, thank goodness, is a very strong woman and was not shaken, and I was very pleased. Um, but I do not think it's okay for anyone to say stop speaking, especially whispering in the ear and not looking at the spouse, uh, going to the female, going to the lesser sex, if you will. Um, that is a very, um, it's a very cowardly thing to do. Um, they call us bullies. They call us lots of different names. They never. They're just trying to discredit us when all we're doing is giving you the facts and asking for the law, the terms shall, must, will, to be followed. Because like Bruce said last time, is St. Louis County Ordinance 62 a guideline or a requirement? I saw at the Planning Commission, it was used as a guideline. Um, they asked for a recycled um, asphalt uh, permit, which per the ordinance is a time, there's a timeline to that. There was no timeline given. They were just granted it. No, no extra conditions given. I really, I, I truly lack the understanding of how this all works. Um, and maybe I am wrong, maybe this is a guideline, 
would somebody sit down with me and explain it then? Because I honestly, I have a lot going on in my life. I, I don't like to be here any more than you guys do or to be listening to me. Um, but I stand here because I am persistent and I do believe in our government. I believe in that right can overrule wrong. So please come talk to me if I am wrong. But I, right now when I hear things, I'm not really...